This is a demo of roles and permissions function in Quick Admin Panel. The goal of this video is to show you how it works in our Quick Admin Panel generator, so you may want to use that, but also you may want to adapt and copy our way of storing roles and permissions manually in your projects without even using Quick Admin Panel. So let's begin. We create a totally fresh new admin panel, which will uh, which will have roles, users, and permissions. So by default we have these menu items and admin is able to basically manage user, roles, and permissions. And also we can create a new menu item, let's call it articles. Just for the testing purposes, I have some fields pre-selected and we save that CRUD. And by default we create two menu roles, two user roles for you is administrator and simple user. And I will download the panel without creating anything else and I will show you how it works in downloaded code. And here I am in downloaded and installed the panel. I've done that to save your time so I've run composer install and artisan migrate fresh for the database. And you can see some tables here for user roles and permissions. And this is how it looks after download, the default is admin, admin, com, and password is password. And this is administrator role. And first I will, cr I will show you how to use it visually, how it works, and then we'll dive into the code and you will see how it works under the hood. So in menu items, user management, you see permissions list. And for every menu item, we create five permissions. Access means uh, the whole access of menu item and then four actions create edit show and delete and for example We've created the articles menu item articles crud So these five things are created as well and for roles For administrator role we add all the permissions and for user we Decline everything uh, that's related to user management so simple user cannot manage users at all and for all the other uh, CRUDs, we assign all five uh, all five permissions, but you can edit that. So in the downloaded panel, for example, you want to uh, to be able, like user wouldn't be able to delete the article, right? So you edit that, you click save, and they they are not able anymore to to delete the articles. Uh, while creating users, you can create well user and then choose and then choose the role. For example, here, admin or user, you save, and then you also can add more permissions. So this is how you can uh, manage it visually. We don't use any particular package for that, although it's really similar to Spotty uh, roles and permissions. Uh, and now I will show you how it works actually in the code. Here I am in my PHP Storm, and this is the index blade of articles list. And here you can see some functions related to permissions. So this is the main thing. Can article create? Then we show the button to create the article. Similar to the similar to that is can for every button. So can show the article. The uh, the button is called view. Can edit the article and can delete the article. So this is how it looks visually. So this is the list for the admin. So admin can add article, delete and edit. And remember we remove the permission for deleting. And this is in my Firefox, I'm logged in as simple user. And as you can see, there are no buttons for delete selected for multi-delete or here in delete. So if we refresh that, um, there are no buttons. So simple user cannot delete articles. And in the code, it's just checking the can thing. But as you can probably imagine, it's not enough to hide the button. We actually need to hide the functionality and restri restrict that. So we do that in controller. For every method in controller, there's this line as a first line in every controller method, abort unless, which actually restricts with code 403, which is forbidden if it doesn't allow article access, article create, article edit, and Actually, the same for edit and update or article show, destroy, and mass destroy. So, basically, this is how it looks uh, when using the gate. And, and here, actually, we're using the default Laravel functionality. Gate is not a package. It's default Laravel. Can, command, 
can uh, directive its blade directive directly from Laravel. Abort unless is also a Laravel function. So we don't use any specific package or dependency or stuff you would learn uh, separately. We can actually get to Laravel gate policy. Let's go to to the documentation. So this is really according to this. So we define gates, we register them, and we use gate allows, and then probably you can find can and cannot. So this is exactly what we use as in Laravel documentation. Now, the main part is how do we uh, register all the gates? Uh, and the default documentation suggests that these lines should be or maybe uh, in auth service provider are typically defined, as they say, typically defined in auth service provider using the gate facade. As we have many gates, we decided to remove it from auth service provider and create a separate middleware. Let's get back to the code. And here in our app HTTP kernel, uh, where we have list of all middlewares, in web middleware, there's this one. So for every web request, there's one middleware passed, and this is the content. Uh, we store all the permissions and roles and users in the database. Uh, let's take a look, actually, in MySQL Pro. Let's refresh that. Refresh this one. So this is a default user and role. So this is users table, roles table, and then role user for pivot table and also permissions and permission role pivot table. So what role can access which permission? So this is in the database. Now, how do we store that from database into our gates? This is the code. So if we have a user in session and it's not a console application, we get all the rows, store them in permission, and then for each, we define a lot of gates. So for every session, for every request, this is done like, I don't know, multiple times, like 20 times in our case for every permission uh, or 100 times. So we have like dozens of gates on every, on every request and then we can use them as can or, or abort unless and gate allows. In the final part of this video, I want to show you an example how you would add your own permission uh, into the panel. So first we add the permission in our panel, basically in user management permissions. So for example, you want to have a permission to publish articles. For example, restrict one field, one checkbox. Actually, let's show it. Uh, so to add an article, so admin would be able to publish the article, would see that checkbox and simple user wouldn't. Uh, and actually we can rename the role from user to author, for example, and that wouldn't change at all uh, any of the any of the functionality is just the the title text it doesn't uh, go anywhere uh, but then let's get to articles and let's hide that checkbox first we need to add a permission so add a permission let's call it article publish uh, and then it would go to some role so for example admin would be able to publish and simple user wouldn't. So we add article publish here and we don't add that to the author. For now, this permission just belongs to role but isn't actually used anywhere in the code. Uh, it does appear in the gate defined, so it is in the list of gates, but we have to actually use it. So for example, in create blade for the articles, let's restrict that field can article publish and then and can and can so it assumes that the admin would see the field and and simple user wouldn't let's try it out as an administrator add out to article i see the field and let's go to our browser firefox where i'm logged in as a simple user and as you can see, the field isn't there. So this is a simple way you can add permission and then you can use can or allows in wherever part of the code you want. Of course, in this example, that wouldn't be enough. You should probably restrict that in articles controller somehow to like remove the request all, uh, re remove the published 
depending on the row and stuff like that. But this is quite simple to add. Uh, so that's it for the roles and permissions. I hope it was useful. You can adapt our method. As I said, we don't. Uh, you can uh, try the quick admin panel, download the panel, and the code will be there for you in trial version. Or you can use our generator to basically create sophisticated panels with our method.